I'm Tim, welcome to Watch Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Coaxial Chronograph. 45.5 millimeters in stainless steel. You can see this coaxial chronograph. Check it out, purchase it, and take it home on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This is the biggest, the beefiest, the chunkiest contemporary Seamaster reference across all three families. The traditional Seamaster 300 meter, the more dress oriented Aquaterra, and the more contemporary Planet Ocean. With the exception of the Ploprof re edition, this is as big and burly as it gets in the Seamaster family. Designed to go blow for blow with the biggest from Breitling and the likes of the Rolex Deep Sea, you can see that this one fairly dwarfs my wrist. Now, the fit is secure, but at 52 millimeters lug to lug and an incredible 19.6 millimeters thick, this is not one to wear under a dress cuff. In fact, if you're going to wear it with any kind of suit, you're going to want to wear it over a diving suit. But it's good for that. This is a watch for rough weather, good times, and hard play. A true sports watch and tool watch in every sense. You can see that the watch features upscale detailing compared to some of the earlier Bond Seamaster 300s. And I can tell you, compared to the bracelet on my early 2000s Bond Seamaster 300 meter, this one feels much chunkier, much more substantial, more I, I, dare I say Rolex-like in the hand, all of the links have incredible heft to them, and they really feel all of a piece strung together, supple on the underside, and discreetly brushed on the top, polished on their outer flanks. This does remind me a great deal of the Rolex Oyster, but when you turn it over, you find the same milled-out twin-trigger deployment clasp that set Omegas apart for at least two generations against their Rolex counterparts. This was the original Bond Seamaster deployment design that made Rolex generally rethink the quality of its stamped out clasps. And another golden oldie from back in the day, the fully milled out dive extension. I used it in New Hampshire over a sweater, but that just goes to show that whatever kind of extreme weather you encounter, whether it be snow flurries in the far north or deep sea diving in the extreme cold, this extension remains one of the best in the business and practical no matter where you live and how you live. Now the underside of the bracelet deserves a quick shout out because you can see how large the channels are between the links compared to the tight tolerances on the top and those channels allow it to effectively avoid pulling hair or pinching skin. Always the ergonomic mark of distinction among good bracelets, the feeling of substance and the ability to wear it without discomfort in hot weather, in uncomfortable conditions or when buckled tightly that's the mark of a truly well-made dive bracelet. The watch itself, though, is the centerpiece. Now, you can see the beveled case and asymmetrical design that's been characteristic of these watches, primarily in the Speedmaster Professional and Seamaster Professional families since the 1960s, but on an epic modern scale, 45.5 millimeters in diameter, and as I mentioned earlier, 52 millimeters lug to lug. It is millimeter for millimeter, and dare I say gram for gram, the equal of Rolex's deep sea, and maybe then some. It does have a few tricks up its sleeve to show the deep sea, and I'll get to those in a minute. But first, the fundamentals. As of 2011, the Planet Ocean family, itself conceived in 2005, was upgraded with the addition of the Omega in-house caliber 9300 chronograph and the 8500 in the time-only dive watch but also the ceramic bezel inserts. And these two elements really took the family of Planet Ocean watches to the next level. Now they had the substance to back the outsized style. The ceramic's a fantastic addition because while I loved my old Bond Seamaster, the bezel was an absolute scratch magnet and an anodized bezel scratched down to the base metal is an absolute eyesore. Unless you're the type who actually likes the look of New York City cab fenders, believe me, ceramic is a huge upgrade. It ensures that your high-end watch is going to stay that way for a long time. And if you are the type to go desk diving, and I have to admit guilt in that respect, again, you've got that much more resilience built into the finish of your watch. Now moving inboard, you can see the dial, exceptionally high quality. It might look lacquered because it is such a rich metal, uh, rather a rich black texture, but it act is actually a matte metal. Now the matte metal is ideal because it actually increases the contrast of all printed and applied elements, as well as the sub-registers and the hands atop. 
So this is a very legible classical dive watch look. It's got a little bit of aesthetic inspiration from the late 1950s to late 1960s Omega Seamaster Professionals, but it's very much its own watch. Now one of the unique features, and you can see just under the broad arrow hour hand, is a mono counter. Now you can see the mono counter right here, perhaps not so much from this angle. I can see it in person, but it features both the 60 minute counter and the hour counter for the chronograph. So you have the balance and the vintage appeal of a sort of twin register chronograph, but you have the functionality of a three register chronograph that is hours, minutes, and seconds being tallied by the mechanism. You also have a beautifully discreet monotone date disc at six o'clock. Now, happily, it's actually set to the sixth right now, so it blends in nicely. But a lot of people have an objection to a date on a dive watch on principle. I like it as a practical measure, and this is a happy compromise between the traditionalists and the functionalists. The practical folks are going to enjoy it, and those who'd rather not see it don't have to notice it if they don't want to. Now, it wouldn't be a modern Omega Seamaster if it were not equipped with a helium release valve. This is the type of feature that you have to pay extra for even today. You do not get one on the Rolex Submariner. You're going to have to upgrade to the Sea Dweller. It is part of all of the Seamaster professionals, the Bonds, as well as the 600 meter Planet Oceans. Yes, it is a chronograph equipped with Omega's caliber 9300. Now you have the look of screw down pushers here, but they are in fact not screw downs. You cannot actuate them underwater, but the convenience of being able to go to them at any time on dry land as opposed to the screw downs on something like a Rolex Daytona, outstanding. You have the look of a traditional dive watch chronograph, but you have the functionality of being able to access the timing device apropos of nothing, impromptu at any time. And I feel that given the nature of a chronograph, the convenience of having a portable timer, anything that furthers that end of accessibility, convenience, and immediate utility is appropriate. And with 600 meter water resistance, that's 2,000 feet for those of us in the States, they don't compromise the watertight integrity of this watch in any fashion whatsoever. And on that note, I would like to draw attention to the presence of a full display case back on this Planet Ocean. Now it's exceptionally unusual, even in the year 2015, to find a watch rated at over 300 meters diving depth, that's over 1,000 feet, with a sapphire display case back. Not only is this an exceptionally deep diver, but you have an exceptionally broad an attractive display case back. Now in here is Omega's caliber 9300, derived from the 2007 first generation entirely Omega exclusive caliber 8500 coaxial movement. This one's been hot rotted with Omega's SI14 silicon balance and hairspring, full balance bridge and free sprung for exceptional shock resistance. This is about as good as it gets in terms of sports watch durability. Anti-magnetic, resistance to variation in different positions, resistance to thermal variations in different temperatures, and, I may add, powered by twin mainspring barrels in series for a total of 65 hours of power reserve. This is a reliable COSC certified Swiss chronometer and a true sports watch. The coaxial was a great fundamental concept, but it wasn't until these exclusive in-house Omega calibers, the 9300 chronograph and the 8500 chronometer, that we truly had a family of coaxials ready to go blow for blow with the competition and live up to the billing of the aesthetic of this watch. So it's as tough inside as it is outside, but it's also beautiful. Now, all of the Omega 8500 and 9300 family movements are a little bit unique in their finishing standards. They have a sort of splayed out engraved arabesque on the bridges as well as the winding rotor. And rather than polished or blue oxidized screws, as you'll find in other high-end watches, here we find black oxidized screws. And make no mistake, these are oxidized. You can see the slots, likewise, are the same color as the heads. These have not simply gone through some sort of ionizing cauldron. Unlike so many colored screws on watches in this price range, these are the real thing, properly oxidized, beautifully different. The watch also features a number of refinements in as much as it has a traditional column wheel coupled with a contemporary vertical clutch. So the column wheel gives you the crisp actuation. You can hear it, you can feel it, very satisfying. Not only that, but because of a cutaway in the bridges, you can actually see it right here underneath that cutaway. And the vertical clutch makes it easy to start and stop without any imprecision that can be inherent in some of the cruder lateral clutch mechanisms. 
Plus, if you do want to just run it continuously, there's no hazard to the movement. So you have a movement that's up to the standard of an exceptional dive watch, a modern watch, a big watch. They do make these watches in a number of different sizes and a number of different colors, with the orange bezel and the orange strap definitely being the party watch of the family. But if you want the most versatile, the most classical, and arguably the best value, most handsome in the family, you want the full Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Coaxial Chronograph, 45.5 millimeters, black ceramic bezel, full bracelet. You can see it and you can buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com.